Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we've got, uh, I was going to say Return to Games, but no, this is um, Book of Demons. It's available for $24.99 on Steam. I believe I can take a quick look, actually, because I, uh, I have forgotten. If I can get to the store page. It is available for $28.99, Canadian, on Steam. My apologies. Um, it is a deck-building hack-and-slash hybrid, where you decide the length of the quests. Now, uh, we're going to play one of these, I guess. We've got Book of Demons and then Hellcard, which is in production, and Book of Aliens, which is also in production. So we'll just go for Book of Demons, I guess. Ah, the Book of Demons. A truly grim story in our collection. Not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home. Only to find everything different than remembered. A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell, devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. Ah, the ultimate evil has awoken. Adventure. Darkness. Horrors. All of these are way below. Good luck. So that was a cool little intro. I liked it. It was nice. It was nice. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I guess we can create a character named Yama. Not Yamaj, but Yama. A mighty adventurer that believes in the brute power of steel. He is proficient in all kinds of weapons and armors. You can sometimes spot a little madness in his eyes when he's charging a large group of monsters. Shadow Sword, Poison Bomb, and Mighty Blow. Continue on. I'll uh, we'll go for normal. Start game. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you after all this time. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Back then, it was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. Cool. Ah, uh, we have nothing else here. Uh, do we have like mouse? There's uh, there's something I th I feel like there is some mouse uh, like smoothing going on here. I feel like I feel like there's mouse smoothing, and I really hate it. Um, maybe it's here. No. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there is, but um Your arrival brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know. <laughs> but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. 
I do not know what caused such desecration of that holy place. That enigma is yet to be solved. Uh, and you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. Sounds good. Off we go. To the cathedral. Quest one, the cook. Quest two, the antipope. Not discovered. Hell starts here. Okay, I guess we'll do uh, this. Sounds good. Book of Demons uses mechanics different from other hack and slash games. If you're playing for the first time, pay attention to the tutorial so you can have the best possible experience. Good luck in the paper dungeons. I am the sword that splits darkness. Okay. Um, so I'm seeing that, like, this is. So I'm hitting A and D to do this, and then S to stop. I can only continue on these paths, it seems. So W and S also goes uh, in the same directions as A and D. I'd rather just uh, click, I think. You can interact with objects in your light radius. Sounds good. That's mine, thank you. Back up, back up, back up. Get him, get him. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Click to choose your target. Your character auto attacks, auto attack slow. Each hit damages one heart. Click or click and hold on target to attack faster. And when you want to click and hold to go in, uh, in that direction, I understand. I understand. Icons on the top represent points of interest on this level. The icon is revealed when you're getting near. That's this thing here. Cool, that's sweet. It's a health potion card. We'll go ahead and equip that. We don't we don't need any of it, but uh, we'll take it anyway. Yeah, I I I, uh, I don't need help with this part. Thank you. Heart points on your life. If you lose them, all you will die. Your heart points don't auto regenerate. Use fountains or cards to recover health. You can always go back to the town and be healed by the healer. Sounds good to me. missing a lot here so we need to get some kind of accuracy bonus or something maybe but uh... all in all it seems pretty um... Ooh, baby I can see that the sanctity of this place has been found all monsters lose one heart every level gives you one point which can be added to your hearts or used to boost your mana so this costs a hundred coins. <laughs> cool. Um, let's go in here. We're gonna go ahead and level up. I think I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna go for mana. If I had to take a guess. No, I need, I need my, I need my money. All right, onwards, onwards and outwards, I suppose. Uh, yeah, let's do some, some skeleton warrior stuff down here. So this is a, uh, this is a good game, so far. Zombies and some other monsters have poisoned hearts. On dead zombies explode with a shock wave. The poison never went around. Lethally poisoned monsters are marked with a skull. Zombies cannot be poisoned, they are healed instead. 
You're not getting me. No way, I wanted to... Please. You cannot defeat me. Uh, so that's going to be probably like a healing point. We don't really need it yet. Bosses are tough to defeat. Each one has multiple stages. The more stages the boss has, the more rewards he drops when slain. All bosses' stages are shown on the boss bar. Sounds good to me, dude. I could have like lured that over to the boss and then um, done some some stuff there, but that uh, feels like maybe a little bit too much work for what it's worth, in my opinion. Oh, we took a damage. We took a we took a hit. We haven't taken a hit yet. I don't think we've taken a hit, right? Maybe we have. One hit's not that bad, though. We'll we'll survive. We'll live. We have a healing pod right there, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know that they're up there, but, like, look. There's more stuff to explore down here, dude. We wink. The heck is this? Cool, 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 cool. So the footprints show uh, where we've been. And the golden footprints have uh, fully visited stuff. And we get a new card. This is a super punch or something. Mighty blow, yeah. Go ahead and equip that. So that's going to be two on the thing. It takes one mana. Do massive damage and stun the target. Does three damage, stun chance of 25%. That sounds good. We're going to head down here to this uh, this healing pod. It's healing altar. It's either a deal with the devil or uh, a healing thing. And I'm going to assume it's a healing thing. Look at that. I'm still at the ignorant rank, I suppose. That's okay. Okay. Um, purchase cauldron contents. Charge item cards. I don't really care. None of that matters. We're going to continue down. Plexiscope. Select game size. Ooh, okay. This is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff. With Plexiscope, you choose the size of your game session. Depending on your preferences, you can divide your adventure into smaller or bigger games. Regardless of how much time you have, Plexiscope ensures fair balance of threats and rewards at the get. And that the gameplay experience can be completed in the predicted time. Since Flexiscope learns your gameplay style, the time estimates for each subsequent session size should be more accurate. Sounds good. Um, we'll go for a, uh, a small game size here, which um, will be quite good, because that'll put us right to the end, and then we can go check out the... Uh... Let's continue. I didn't read that. I should have read that. I did not read that, though. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Gargles have stone hearts. They are immune to elemental effects, fire, poison, and ice. They heal over time when they uh, when they turn into a statue. Yeah, you're dead. It's nice to Some armored monsters are protected by shields. Damage the shield by clicking the shield icon. Monsters are immune until their shields are destroyed. Sounds good to me, dude. Nice. Nothing can stop us now. Except for maybe a zombie. But I don't think I don't think a zombie's gonna get us. I think I think we'll be able to make it through any zombie fights. Ooh. Uh, nothing down there, nothing down here, that's good. I guess we could level up. Um I would like to get some health since I'm not really using the mana. I thought that the mana would be more useful and they'd give us some stuff, but they're not, so we're just going to go for health right now. We get we get both of them later on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We have so much health potions, man. It's, it's, it's insane. I'm assuming this game gets way harder towards the end. Um, as of right now, it's, it's quite simple, but... Um, 
you know, in, in time, I'm sure it, uh, it gets more difficult, of course. What do you got in here, buddy? Not an awful lot, but I'll take it. Uh, there was still one more thing down over here, I believe, right? Still two more chests, but I, I didn't walk. I didn't collect the, the stuff from a chest? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, 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 right up here, right up here, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I, just haven't, I haven't been here yet, you know? Just chill out a little bit, alright? Uh, go ahead and heal, I guess. Not that it matters. Shadow Sword grants an extra attack against an opponent, additional opponent in range. That sounds good. This is uh, six energy. And this is changed from mana to green mana. Cool. Now we got a uh, sarcophagus up here. Sounds good. All right. Oh, we got a little bit of money. We need that money. Look at all this money we've got. 2,383. you got zero golden keys, but, I mean, who needs golden keys, right? Not I. That is who? Can I just click on this and then go down? No, I cannot. Level not clear. What do you mean, level not clear? What do you mean, level not clear? Uh, yeah, I don't believe that level is not clear. Yeah, okay. Sure. Sure. After you take the stairs down, you can re-enter the level from the back by clicking on the right side of the level. You can always go back to down from the cross-cut screen, even between levels. Sounds good to me. We got some uh, some arrows in here. I saw some bows in the... Uh... Several levels up, but I'm way too proud to ask for directions. Oh, look at that. Not enough mana. Open cards. So this is consuming... Grants an extra attack against an additional opponent in range. So that's an artifact. That's, like, always active. Um, and this one costs five... Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. I understand, I understand. I understand how this is working, so I can, uh... I can't actually use this. It's always active. I don't know what it does exactly. Um... But I guess that if I'm in range, I'm attacking multiple things at once. Oh, I got, I got poisoned. These are these arrows are kind of rough, man. We're taking a lot of damage here. That's a little bit uh, an undesirable way to be handling this. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, you're a jumper! You're a jumper. Since when can you jump? Uh, we are going to level up and get a bit of mana here as well. I would love to get up to the point where we can use that armor. So that armor seems pretty sweet. Why did you walk towards it? Don't do that. Uh, this is the way down. We don't need to go there just yet. Yeah, look at that. I wasn't even attacking this dude and he still died. So that's what this thing's doing, is the... Is the every now and then just uh, smacking a boy around a little bit. Which is nice. I'm into it. You're not in top form. You should probably see the healer before entering the dungeon. I don't care, dude. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I had uh, got a little bit tilted in that last one, but it's fine. We're, we're doing fine. 
Look, I'll worry about me. You worry about you. I don't like that. Take that, boy. They are immune until you killed all of the guards. That's fine. These guards don't have anything on me, man. Look at that. It's doing, like, attacking two of them. It's so sweet. It's so sweet, man. That is sweet. <laughs> I love this, uh, this shadow sword. It's doing great. Uh, we'll level up the mana again here. And I want my, uh... I don't know, am I gonna continue down here? Are we gonna... I don't know, man. There's there's still some more, uh, some more stuff to be checking out up here. Still some more stuff to be checking out over here. I'm getting better at hand managing the, uh, the, the archer dudes. Who are uh, mighty annoying, but uh, you know, a little bit of practice and you're able to, to handle them pretty okay. Town portal. That's 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 great, dude. Ingredients found in the dungeon are placed in the cauldron and transformed into prizes. To collect the contents of the cauldron, talk to the barman. Maybe beware when you die, you lose the call the prizes stored in the cauldron. Mana and heart points are preserved in casual and normal. So let's, let's get up a little bit. Don't get up a little bit closer. This is too many archers. It's too many archers. I don't like it. See ya, boy. I'm hoping there's a uh, like a, a healing altar somewhere. It's kind of my uh, my plan for the moment. Oh, you're not killing me. You're not killing me. I do have the four healing potions, of course, which I can use. Should I uh, should I want to? Uh, we'll go down here and just finish off this uh, section. Because we've... Uh, there we go. Nice and easy. I hope there's a healing altar. Oh yeah, there is. Right there. We just have to make it there. Okay, that's not that hard, right? It's not that bad. Just don't get smacked by an explosive barrel and you're, uh, you're going to be fine. Nice and easy. Alright. I want to be able to run <laughs> faster. You know, like maybe speed up the game a little bit when uh, when the floor is cleared. The floor is cleared, right? No, there's still one more thing. Still one more barrel sitting somewhere. But like, look, speed up, speed up the game a little bit, all right? Speed, speed it up just a smidgen. When I'm in, a, when I'm in a completed area, you know. I have no idea where this barrel is. It's right here. Leave. Get me out of here. All right, we're gonna head back to town. Because I want to talk to the barmaid. Greetings, traveler. People call me the fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself. <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good but simple people and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his... Wit, not to mention his social skills, are clearly dulled by age. 
<laughs> We're all lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless. Uh, we will not listen to more gossip. Few living souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is the realm where the dead rest, or at least should be resting. Countless warriors, men of the cloth, mages, and even kings of old were buried there with troves of gold and gems. But the dead are now restless. Quickened by some unholy powers, they are haunting the corridors like wild animals, and their courage, virtue, and talents have been replaced with mindless violence. Ending their painful existence will be an act of mercy if you ask me. Animated cadavers are capable of experiencing only the most base effect, hunger. Who can imagine a less meaningful existence? Their bodies are still decomposing, so it's recommended to keep them at a distance as the gases they produce are of the deadliest kind. Fortunately, they also smell awful, which serves as a warning. Just like the stench of charlatanry emanating from the fortune teller's wagon. These creatures they don't like each other, eh? Stone, which makes them extremely resilient to elements. Fire, frost, or poison cannot harm them. Their abilities are fascinating. When harmed, they petrify and lie in slumber for thousands of years, slowly regenerating. All adventurers should be warned that statues may not be what they seem. Some scholars claim that gargoyles carry a trace of demonic blood, like that charlatan woman, although it's much more obvious in her case. They really don't like each other. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go back Welcome and listen to this. Back, my friend. I'm sure you've already noticed how things have changed for the better around here while you were traveling around the world. Apart from the demonic presence, of course. One as smart as yourself surely realizes that this mostly is due to my beneficial presence in this small town. Take Barmaid as an example. A simple girl, to be sure, but surprisingly talented when it comes to prize brewing. Her potential would surely go to waste if it wasn't for me. Her focus and strong will remind me of myself in youth. <laughs> then there's the sage, whose stories are nothing but half-truths. Simple folk are easily swayed by men like him, so I have to correct him all the time. As for the healer, I helped him a lot and even offered to read his fortune for free, but he ran away. Most curious. Make no mistake, he's hiding something. Cards are my specialty. They represent a novel approach to magic, offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spellcasting. Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? This is so Middle Ages. <laughs> no wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with... My help, at a reasonable price. Just like with playing cards, the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage. Sounds good, dog. I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft, and I don't mean her skill with cards. It's called prize brewing. And it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about. So there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic anytime you want. But the process will get more expensive each time. Third, if monsters slay you in the dungeons, the potion will weaken. It's because I'm making them just for you, so they have to be magically linked to your essence. 
Sounds good. Magical cauldron. Um. I've been busy too while you were away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft, and I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called. Um. So this is going to be. The more we rack up in here, the more uh, magic we get in it. Just click the cauldron prizes now or wait longer and risk losing the bonus. Each time you collect pri that prizes, the price of the cauldron increases. When the hero dies, unbought prizes are lost. Do not show again. Click the prizes. So we got uh, three of this, one of that, and uh, a silver prize. Which was three bronze prizes for a little bit of gold. And a uh, golden key. I can take it. Nice. Cool. Sounds good to me. Uh, you, I'm going to unlock a card slot because that sounds like uh, extremely useful to me. And you. Let's go ahead and charge a card. Town portal. Eh, I don't care about that. Uh, how do I open up my cards? I. I would like to be equipping this, but I don't have the ability to, and we'll may as well just put that on there. Um, I think we have one use right now, which is enough. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this over here like so. Actual pipes like that. I don't even care about this being on here. Really. Well, I guess we do right now because we have uh, we have four mana. And we, uh, we need one more mana to get to that. Stay and listen for a while. Uh, it would be really nice if we now, could get that. But unfortunately, <laughs> can't do it. Okay, but that is going to do it. Um, I guess if we leave session, we can just come right back in. Yeah, so we got this character here. And we've, uh, we've unlocked a couple new characters by reaching level 5 you've unlocked two new playable character classes rogue and mage that's pretty sweet this game is this game is excellent um <laughs> this game is really really good we've been doing some some bangers lately um this is another really really good game i'm really enjoying this one and this is book of demons it's available for 28.99 canadian on steam probably like 24.99 american or something around there um 25 60 or 24.99 some somewhere somewhere in that 25 dollar range probably it's my guess um it's really really good it's it the the it's a little bit weird because you're like a paper thing in a paper world it's like a pop-up book kind of uh thing but like i don't know i got really into it <laughs> it's uh it really it really pulled me in on this one so uh it's another candidate for for like i just this Yamajack tries is killing me sometimes because I keep playing these games that are really, really fun and I want to keep playing more of them and I want to like add it to the, the channel and be like, yeah, I'll play this one as well, I'll play this one as well, I'll play this one as well. But then we have like Synthetic Legion and we have Infectinators and then we have Yuppie Psycho and like, like this game and like it just, it continues on and on and on and I keep trying these games that I'm like, oh, these are really, really good. I want to keep playing them and, uh, and I can't because I don't have the time. Um... But it's uh, this is definitely a really really good game. This was fun. This was a this was a blast. Uh, I want to keep playing, and I want to see what uh, what like the rogue does and what the, the mage does, and I want to see about uh, I don't know, going for like permadeath and like roguelike elements kind of thing. We got like daily challenges. Like there's there's some good stuff going on here, and then there's there's like a lot of uh, you know, stuff for expansion with the. Uh, with this, which is um, going to be released in Q4 2020, apparently, and then this one over here, same thing, Q4 2020, or no, 2021. Um, you know, and then there's there's all of these other book slots, and then you could put another book slot into that, and you got like like an expansion into the Book of Aliens, and then like other books, and like oh, it's it's just this game is really really good um i'm super excited about this game so this one's staying this game is a uh, definitely one that's staying installed in my steam library and we'll probably play it again in the future when i get bored of another game maybe or on stream maybe i don't know but uh, this game is really really good it's fun 
It's $28.99 on Steam. Go get it. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like this video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.